Today we'll be demoing how you, as a board creator, invite contributors to post on your board. At this point, we see our board is already set up. We've got the title of the board set. If we need to edit the title, we can always double click in the title box. We've chosen our background here by selecting this change background paintbrush icon. We've also added the first post on the board, which includes a thoughtful message and then a fun you know, piece of media. The reason we add this first post on a board before we invite others to contribute is so that once contributors visit the board, they have an example that they can mirror. So now we're ready to invite contributors. To do so, I will click this person icon, invite contributors, and I have different options to get in touch with these contributors. I can either send them the board link by copying the link here and then pasting that link in whatever form uh, of communication I'd like to reach out to them in. I can also enter individuals' email addresses here. Um, and that would send an email from our Kudo board system to those individuals inviting them to post. In case you're in an in-person environment where it would make sense to print a QR code, you can also go that route. I have added an email into our invite contributor section. Let's go see what the email invite looks like in that inbox. Great, now I'm viewing the inbox from the perspective of a contributor. When I open the email invitation, I'll right away see some context uh, about the board. I also have this direct call to action to add to the Kudo board. So when I select that add to Kudo board button, I'll be taken to the board itself. If your organization's site is integrated with Slack or Teams, you'll also see those options available within your invite panel. This site is integrated with Slack. Here, I have the option to invite an entire channel or a specific individual via direct message. If I invite a channel, I'd enter the channel name here. I can then enter any specific individuals I'd like to tag in that invitation message. Any additional context can be added here, and then I'd send my invites using the Send Invites button. This applies for Teams as well. Invites sent through Slack or Teams both result in notifications being sent directly through those channels. Individuals can click the Kudo board link to post on the board. 